Alabama state senators passed a controversial new abortion law late yesterday. It outlaws nearly all abortions in the state, making it a felony to perform the procedure unless the mother's health is at risk. Alabama doctors could face up to 99 years to life in prison for performing an abortion. Also, the law does not make exceptions in cases of rape or incest. Opponents rallied outside the state Senate. Some wore Handmaid's Tale costumes. Others carried signs reading reproductive rights are human rights. The new law is expected to be challenged and will most certainly reignite the debate over Roe v. Wade. And reactions to the bill are pouring in. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi tweeted, women's rights are under attack. This relentless and cruel Republican assault on women's health is designed to force a court battle to destroy Roe v. Wade. Democrats will be ready to defend health care and women's reproductive freedom. While anti-abortion activists like Lila Rose tweeted, so proud of Alabama and of all the women and men that stood up against the abortion industry and the crusade of lies, misinformation, and fear-mongering and said we will fight so our laws protect life we will make our state a safer home for mothers and children wow okay so this is a very difficult subject to have a, have a conversation uh, on in fact yeah. earlier today uh, DBL nation in our meeting we debated whether or not we were going to even cover this story that's exactly right but what do we say at the top of the show we are going to be talking about what you talk Absolutely. about. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to have a, a, a spirited debate about a very sensitive subject. I beg all of us and DBL Nation to be respectful. Yeah, um, and I'm going to be quick and to the point and just ask a question I've always had about this issue. Um, what this bill in Alabama says to me is that the 25 men who created it don't respect my gender. Mm. They don't respect me as a person, as an autonomous human adult who can have a conversation with my doctor. They don't respect their daughters, their sisters, even in terms of rape or incest. So here's my question to you. If you can't trust me with a choice, how can you trust me with a child? Mm. Answer me that. Now, I will, before you jump in, Brandon, and even though I, I want us to be very transparent here and, I'm, and I respect the other side, I am pro-choice, but I do respect and understand that pro-lifers are trying to advocate for the unborn. Right for Completely. someone that can't speak for themselves. Absolutely, so that's what that's what they would say to you. They would say, "Listen, Tori, I'm happy that 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 you can make those decisions on your own. But what about the child in you that can't advocate?" for themselves. And I would say, as we look, abortion is always going to happen. It's going to happen. It's happened for history. And if you ban it, you're going to get black market, horrible things for women. Even if you don't like it, it's going to happen. And, and, and that's what I'm worried about, the black market. And, and one thing I'm worried about is the foster care system as well, because you're going to see children who are born that are unwanted. So I have no no problem with someone being pro-life. In fact, I don't know where I stand with this. I'm both pro-life and pro-choice. Yeah. I'm going to be 100% because as a man, I'm not carrying that baby. So whatever, mm -hmm. what you women go through and have to go through after that. So what I say to the people who are pro-life, just make sure you're pro-foster care. You're, you're pro-maternity leave. You're pro-child services because there's some horrible things that happen in the foster care. Not all the time, but the, there's one thing that's worse than just what they call murdering a baby. It's a child growing up without the love, protection, protection or overwhelming. Well, well, like you, like you said, Brandon, yes. there are some horrible things that happen that do include things like Tori mentioned, like rape and incest. I think this is an attack on, hu on all human rights, women's rights. I think it's absolutely disgraceful that 25 white or older gentlemen have any say on what women should and shouldn't do with their bodies. This is The Handmaid's Tale in real life. It's outrageous. I'm not anti-religion, but would the same people that voted for this potential law to come into place, would they also be saying the same if it was a transgender baby, if it was a bisexual baby or a gay baby? I wonder then if they'd be more more for you know abortion. That's I think a, it's crazy. That's a, listen, this, this, here's <laughs> the thing. I did some research because there is fear-mongering on both sides. Yep. Um, I tend to agree with you you, Stephanie I do uh, but I do want to always listen to the other side and I did want to check those statistics to see what Tori was alluding to and what you were alluding to with the black market and whether or not a ban would actually prevent abortion according to the CDC abortions now are at a historic low even before 1973 before abortions became legal so there you have it banning abortion does not prevent abortion exactly we found out what does prevent abortion the cdc credits 
contraception and education. They also said that 90% of abortions take place before 12 weeks, so very early on in the pregnancy, and a majority of young women. And they attribute that to young women who feel shameful, so they're hiding their pregnancy. They don't want to tell mom and dad that they're pregnant or that they're sexually active. So if all of our goal, if we can make this a bipartisan issue, if all of our goal is to prevent the loss of life, then we know what works. Contraception and education and destigmatizing sexual activity amongst young adults yeah. because we don't want them to be so ashamed that they go to desperate measures. Mm -hmm. So, and I think we just need compassion all the way around. Yeah. I think we do. Well, we don't know it. what is happening to that individual woman and what conversation she's having with her doctor. Also, mm -hmm. just because you're pro-choice doesn't mean you're pro-abortion. Let's just please start looking at the other side and let's try to come together, especially and, mm -hmm. in situations and, like this. And I, I Final hope, thought, and then we have to move on. I hope on. men heard everything you all, all three what you guys said because we can't just sit here and give our opinion without being educated. So I thank you because I just learned something as well. Amen. Amen. And DBL Nation, please continue to write in. We love hearing from you. We want to hear from you. And we know this is a tough one. Yep. Yeah. We really do. Well yeah. said.